just saw a puppy and their owner wouldn't let their puppy say hi to you. Gave you a dirty look. What was that all about, John? Ja? Screw them. Let's go. Today, Lionhearts, we are going to meet a legend. Today I'm going to do something that I've actually never done since I've lived in Hollywood. Somebody is getting their handprints at the Man's Chinese Theater. Well, whatever it's called now. And that man is responsible for probably almost all of the summer blockbusters in probably the last 20 years. Stan Lee. The man who created just about every superhero that's memorable this day and age. Every kid's dressed up as one of these people in Halloween time. And to be honest, the first time I ever heard of Stan Lee was from Mallrats. So when you go see a yeah. Superman like Stan Lee, which I don't even think he created Superman, but when you see somebody like that, you go with your super friends. And the only one I could find was this guy. You know what keeps me super? What's that? Caffeine. As a Mad Magazine fan and Alfred E. Newman and the Misfits, I love that art up there. This is a new mural. This uh, just got put up recently. And what I love about it is I was passing by it. You have Bob Dylan here. And you have Kurt Cobain. And of course Elvis. Jimi Hendrix. I mean, it's Bob Marley even. Pretty cool. I love this kind of stuff. It used to all be black and white, silent movie, old Hollywood people, all, even people like Ed Sullivan, who wasn't really that Hollywood connected, but now they're starting to replace with some more modern stuff. Like this. I wonder if he knows what's going on today. One of the ways they decorate over here at the uh, Dolby Theater where the uh, Hollywood and Highland is, is they have all these pillars with what won Best Oscar that year. And you can kind of see them. Those haven't been defined yet because those years haven't happened, but over here you can see uh, The Departed, No Country for Old Men. Pretty neat. Slumdog Billionaire. And if you didn't see Michael Keaton and Edward Norton in Birdman, Go see it. What a great movie. It's all one continuous shot. The camera pretty much never stops. And when it does, you can't tell. If you look closely, you can see little faces on the insides of there. That's the title of the art piece. There was actually another reason I really wanted to come out here and see Stan Lee. Not only is Stan Lee kind of getting up there in years, but recently it was reported in the news that um, his former business partner had called the authorities and accused Stan Lee's daughter of um, elder abuse to Stan and his wife. And the authorities went out there and checked it out and found out that it was a bogus claim. But um, two weeks ago, Stan Lee's wife died. And I just know how that goes, that the old adage of like once one spouse goes, the other one is not too far behind. So when Adam and I found out that Stan Lee was going to be down here doing his handprints, this was definitely the first handprint ceremony that I was inclined to come to. Generally, the people that they give handprints to now aren't people that I really want to see in person. But somebody who created the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man and Iron Man, he deserves our time. I don't know how we're gonna get close enough to see anything, but. I'm just walking around this whole complex looking for alternative places to stand and get shots. I have combed the area and this is about the only spot that I'm able to stand in. It sounds like every spot around the theater, they've made it all blue wristbands. And these guys are pretty rude about it too. So if we can see anything, it'll be right here. You can actually see right there the cement that he's going to put his handprints in. I want to get down there and tell him how they're treating his fans so I can watch him hulk out. 
Well, I forgot my other lens, so I gotta switch over to using the camera phone if I wanna zoom in close enough to get any footage here, so we'll see what happens. I think what we're seeing now is actually they're laying the second backup cement that they always keep just in case there's an earthquake or natural disaster that ruins the first one. I think that's what they're doing now because we've already seen the first one laid out earlier. <laughs> out in the woods telling Spider-Man he needs a blue wristband to get in. Since they have so limited room for fans, everybody is kind of congregated in this little alcove looking for a way to see Stan Lee come out. In mere moments we're going to be seeing the man who created, co-created most of the Marvel Universe. He was the editor, the founder, the vice president. Without him, like I said, Many of your summer blockbusters probably wouldn't exist. You wouldn't have Daredevil, you wouldn't have Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man. Incredible. Yes! Awesome. He's doing Spider-Man web shooters! Yes! That's amazing. He's standing in the concrete. Give him the Spidey signal. That's right. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Guys, please keep moving. Don't stop. Thank you. Be forewarned, everyone, if you come out here to enjoy one of these uh, handprint ceremonies, the people that work the events are definitely going to be rude to you. making friends in Hollywood everywhere he goes. You know? That was Mr. Muscles. He, his catchphrase is, before he strapped on the axe and the guitar, he used to walk around flexing going, you know? And then you try to have a conversation with him and all he'd say is, you know? I asked him where the restroom was once and he said, you know? I, said, I don't know, just tell me. That's why you ask him. Have to use yeah, I know what well, it looks like about. now he's a guitar yeah, player. You know, but you, you know what? No. You know What's kind of funny is that uh, there for a while, Adam and I split up and then we come back together and he made another famous friend who was it the guy selling the CD to me back there that tried to like well, tried to like corn swoggle me in to give him a couple bucks or? no I believe it was a guy named silent Bob oh, that's true I did meet Kevin Smith look for that in Adam's vlog today spoiler alert spoiler alert Adam has Kevin Smith in his vlog today you know awesome well on Hollywood Boulevard they were just handing out free Pellegrinos for you Weezer fans up here on this uh, Reimagine fostering children on the left. 
That's actually the bass player Weezer. He fostered two children and he's one of the spokespeople for the Raise a Child Foundation. So guys, I just got an email and it's pretty awesome. It was actually a guy who works for Ringo Starr's website and he contacted me and said that they're making a video about Ringo's birthday and they want to use some of my footage. They saw my video and want to use it for the, for the video for his official site. Awesome. Well, what a great day today, guys. I had a blast, and even though I didn't get some great footage, go watch Adam's vlog. Adam got a really great interview with Kevin Smith. It's actually pretty funny, and uh, the place that we were perched up filming this whole ceremony today, somebody told us uh, with the security team that normally they don't even let people stand there, but because this was such a last minute um, announcement for fans, I guess, they didn't really make make it that well known and they expected a big influx of people, they decided to allow people to stand there. So I got the best footage I could and had a great day to boot. Well, every day that you go out and vlog, you never know what you're gonna end up with. You never know what kind of day you're gonna have. And today was one of those days. I got to see a great event, a historic person that won't be around forever. And it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I wanted to send a big thank you out to Patty Nettleton and Jimmy Short for becoming new Patreons. And I do have to work tomorrow, but you will get a vlog. I promise you that. One way or another, I will sneak out either before work, after work, something, and you will get a vlog. Have a great night, Lionhearts. Goodbye. Bye. Tattoo